it, it is a rare thing, certainly okay. hear about it every now and then, but you don't want to be the person who is unlucky. Beauty parlor stroke syndrome. In our meeting, I asked my producers, what is this? I've never heard of it. But we do have an expert who has, Dr. Jeremy Liff, a board certified neurologist joining us now. Dr. Liff, from what I understand, this is all about the way your neck is positioned at the shampoo bowl. Yeah, those pictures are making me a little anxious that you were just showing because, uh, um, you know, the, the issue is, so sometimes you'll hear a story of someone who goes to the beauty parlor and um, either right after they leave or even during, they'll have some sort of neurological issue where uh, they either have a mini stroke or a stroke. The issue is that you have very important arteries that are running in your neck, some are in the front and some are in the back. The ones in the back are encased in bone. And if you have some disease of the bone or you torque your neck too much, you can disrupt the blood flow uh, that's going uh, to your brain and cause a stroke. And that's essentially what beauty parlor stroke syndrome is. So if you don't get to the, the point of a stroke, what are some other warning signs and symptoms that you should consider a different position? So if you start to feel uh, imbalanced or you start to slur your speech, changes in vision, changes in the coordination of your fingers or your hands, uh, you may be cutting off blood flow to a part of your brain. Um, you should definitely reposition at that point. But I, my recommendation is that you don't even get into that position, which essentially is that hyperextension of the neck. Uh, which happens when you have the head going all the way back into the basin and then being pulled on by the person that's washing your hair. Huh. Uh, my recommendation is that you have much better support. You don't get into that position. You get washed upright. You just don't want to have uh, major traction on your neck.